Hey everyone, I hope you all are having a wonderful day. Today I'm doing a very quick comparison between this $200 Tone 2 Pro uh, digital analog converter versus iFi Audio Pro IDSD. Uh, that is a $2,700 digital analog converter. So I'm what I'm doing the uh, com comparison is uh, I'm not trying to bash any of these brands or any of these products. What I'm trying to uh, show you is the uh, difference in sound quality, difference in sound signature, difference in features and functions and everything that makes them very much different in price point. And then you will hear the uh, blind sound demonstration of these digital analog converters back to back in my system using this Dano BM SX11 and this Kev R11 speakers. So both of these decks are very capable, high quality sound reproduction that they can do, but the price point is over $2,500 different in you know, the selling price. So that's the, a significant huge amount of money that different between these uh, digital analog converters. So the reason iFi Pro IDSD, uh, you know, price and you know the selling price is they are capable of using as the uh, connecting all the hard drives and SD cards and all the dedicated power supplies and it has the uh, tube stage and solid state and as well as the hybrid and all that stuff, the features and functions that makes them that much of the higher price point and also capable of DSD 1024, MQA, high res everything this one can offer, the IDSD Pro. So overall, sound quality is very good sounding on both of these digital analog converter. This one can up convert or remaster all the PCM files and everything to DSD. And comparing these two, Tone 2 Pro have the other limitation. It doesn't have the DSD remastering. It doesn't have the tube stage. It's all, you know, much, much a different design and different configuration. So when it's come to sound quality, how they compare to each other? This uh, iFi Audio, IDSD Pro have a significantly forward sounding sound signature that this D this deck can produce. Tone 2 Pro has a more balanced and neutral sound signature compared to this IDSD. Overall instrument separation, detailed sound reproduction and presentation comparable, but IDSD Pro have a bigger sound stage, a bit deeper sound stage compared to this uh, Tone 2 Pro. But Tone 2 Pro have a more neutral and clean, transparent sound with good instrument separations. Overall, upper mid range and vocals and highs, I prefer Tone 2 Pro sound reproductions like neutral and very spacious reproduced with the uh, very musical notes so which I really like so tone 2 pro is not lacking a lot behind you know for the sound quality features and functions are totally different and those are not comparable because that's where the uh, big price different is if you just want to enjoy your music if you just want to listen your favorite music with very good sound reproduction and neutral and clean sound signature yet still musical sound and you'll be saving a lot of money tone 2 pro may be better choice for average people because that sound quality is you are getting almost 95% of this $2,700 digital analog converter. So that's where the differences are. So instrument separation, vocals, all the musical notes and everything are capable, are comparable and enjoyable to listen regardless of the price point. I really enjoy both of these decks, but in the end, I will stick with the uh, Tone 2 Pro for my money if I'm if I'm buying a digital analog converter for myself. That's twenty five hundred dollars 
amount is significantly different that you can have a huge upgrade to your amplifier or even your speakers. That's why a lot of expensive or digital analog converters, why they are expensive is they have a better parts and better power supply, better enclosure, more features and functions and capabilities that makes the a huge difference in sound. Uh, the price point, not the sound reproduction. Sound reproduction, I think most of the uh, entry level digital analog converters are more neutral sounding. The higher the price you go, especially those so ridiculously high price uh, digital analog converter have uh, their house sound signature or some sort of a coloration to it because they, they only cater to very handful of people, not many people like entry-level digital analog converters. So in my opinion, most of the music level will be happy with this kind of $200 digital analog converter unless they are going after a particular sound signature of, you know, the digital analog conversion. Otherwise, this kind of neutral and transparent sounding digital analog converter are totally capable of serving all your digital music need. Only if you want to enjoy your streaming or your music or your desktop or music system or whatever, I mean, whatever the system that you might have, all you need is your very good and neutral sounding digital analog converter. If you don't want to spend a lot of money, this kind of $200 digital analog converter will get the job done. Still very musical, still very enjoyable. In this video, you will hear the back-to-back uh, -back sound samples of these two different price point digital analog converters. You hear it for yourself to see which one you like more. So that's it my friend, this is my quick comparison between these two decks and sharing my opinion about the price, different price point of the components. So please enjoy. Thank you for watching and happy listening.
Thank you so much, Arthur Bass. Yeah. And multiplayer, Mr. Broca. Woohoo! And Mr. Kona on the keyboard. Yeah. Mr. Kona on the keyboard, yeah.